there's never a good time to lock up, starve, and torture a bunch of Vatican cardinals, except when there is. Today, we're going to look at the bizarre incident that led to the papal election process that we have today. The year was 1268, and Pope Clement IV had just died in the Italian village of Viterbo. Back then, elections for a new pope took place where the previous pope died. In this case, this meant the cardinals had to go to Viterbo to elect a new pope. You see, at the time, the process was open to lobbying, and it had no secrecy. There's no limit to how long it would take to elect a new pope. So, in Viterbo, the process went from days to months to years. The villagers got sick and tired of all these cardinals occupying their town. They had long overstayed their welcome. So the townsfolk locked them up in a nearby palace to force a vote. This had no effect, so the villagers started to limit their food, giving them only bread and water to try to starve out a decision. That didn't work either. More extreme measures had to be taken. So the villagers tore the roof off the palace. Perhaps exposing them to the elements would do the trick. As a side note, the palace still has no roof today. This whole situation was taking so long that three cardinals died of old age. Finally, after three years, Pope Gregory X was elected. But he wasn't a cardinal or a priest. He didn't even know that he was elected because he was away fighting in the Crusades. This meant that they had to wait even longer to officially have a pope. After eight more months, the pope-elect returned and assumed his role, and seeing the fiasco that elected him, Gregory created the conclave system that we have today, where the cardinals are locked up in a secret meeting inside the Vatican until a decision is made, with punishments introduced after three and seven days. Today, Vatican elections tend to take less than a week, and it's all thanks to some villagers who decide to lock up, starve, and torture a bunch of Catholic cardinals in the 1200s. Well, that was adequately weird. Please subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon to keep these facts coming. I'll see you in the future.